Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and in this episode I'm going to be comparing the real amplifier, the Launchbox Angle Fireball 25 against a plugin. I'll be using the Amplitude 5 and let me show you the virtual amplifier. It should be down here. It's going to be an angle amp. This is the E650, however, I am not going to compare it to this specific one because sonically they are extremely different from each other, so i rather use the Powerball. Of course, this is the emulation of the 100 watt one, however, uh, we're going to be able to see how similar or different they are from each other. Now let's check the caps for the guitars that I've got. You can see with the green check are uh, the caps that I own and I'll do the test with this Mesa Recto Horizontal 2x12 with vintage 30 speakers and even though there's angle cabinets here but these are 4x12 and I believe the 2x12 might be a little bit similar than the one I have here in the studio. All right, now let me show you the analog setup. I'll be using my PRS custom left-handed guitar with humbucker pickups and I will have the switch in the bridge position. The guitar is gonna go in the mono line number three of my Yamaha mixer and I'm gonna have two outs, one that goes straight to my Presono Studio 24C uh, box and the other one goes straight to the amplifier. Uh, these are the settings of the angle Fireball 25 which basically is everything at noon except the lead gain and the master volume. I will attenuate the volume of this angle amp by using my JHS pedal attenuator in the loop section and then I'm gonna use this angle cabinet 2x12 with vintage 30 speakers which is gonna be mic with the Shure SM57 connected also to the Presonus 24C. Let's go! Alright, so it is time for the grand reveal and here you can see uh, the Engel Powerball 100 loaded here in my Amplitube. So the green over here is the real amplifier Fireball 25 and the yellow it's going to be our plug-in with this amp over here. So let me just show you the settings like I explained it earlier in the video. You see also here the 2x12 Mesa and I made sure that I was using the Dynamic 57 so kind of the emulation of the Shure SM57 that I use over here and um, the speakers just to make sure right here the vintage 30s that I was using perfect so now tell me if you were able to listen to any difference between the real amplifier in A and the plugin in B. Put in the comments below if there was one that 
you like the most. Also, I should mention that even though I recorded these two tracks simultaneously using my Yamaha mixer, one had a little bit larger waveforms than the other, so I had to adjust the volume, specifically reduce the volume on the plugin and increase a little bit on the track with the real amplifier. So that is A. All right, now let's hear the plugin. Let's make another loop over here. Let's go. A. Alright, well now we know what is what and um, last thing I would like to do is mess around with the plugin and see if we can tweak it a little bit more. All right, and now we like to just add a noise gate to see um, how it uh, sounds. So I'm gonna put it all right here. I'm gonna increase it a little bit, and let's see. Let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> Thank you. 
And I also try the settings by putting the noise gate in the loop section of the virtual amp, but I didn't get a different result, therefore I'll just keep this part. But the beauty of the virtual amps is that if uh, you want to change the sound altogether, might as well use a completely different amp, and you can choose from a wide range of amps and choose the one you like. All right, so now that you know that A was the real amp and B was the plug-in, let me know in the comments below which one sounded better for you. For me personally, I liked more the real amplifier. I felt like it had a better crunch, a better bite, a better sustain, more low end, more mids that you can hear than the plug-in. However, don't get me wrong, Amplitude 5 did a great job in uh, creating this Engel Powerball 100 emulation. And if you are on a budget or if you don't want to spend $2,500 to get the 25 watt real amp head plus cabinet plus microphone to record, then this is a very close plug-in to a real amplifier is not that far off so still definitely recommend that however for my recordings i'll stick to the real amplifier sonically i really liked it so much and i can't wait to keep playing this amp if you would like more videos like this don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video smash the like button Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.